Uh, we were out of school yesterday, so we made some adjustments, but a lot of kids to recognize, a lot to talk about about our athletics at Coffee High School. So let's jump right in. Let's talk about weightlifting first. The boys' weightlifting team finished fourth this Friday at the Sewanee Invitational in Live Oak, Florida. The 14 team <clears throat> invitational hosted some of the best teams from North and Central Florida including the 2023 state champions Sewanee High School and Leesburg High School. The Trojans were led by Reigns Robinson, who placed first in both the Olympic competition and the traditional competition. Robinson, who lifted in the 183-pound weight class, also was presented with the Best Pound-for-Pound Pound Award and the Best Pound-for-Pound Pound Award for traditional. So, Range excelled in both Olympic and traditional lifting, <clears throat> had a great meet. Mikhail Smith lifted in the 154-pound weight class, placed second in the Olympic and traditional portions of the meet also. And Tico Smith, who lifted in the 238-pound class, placed third in the Olympic portion of the meet. So another good showing for Coach Mike Booth and his boys weightlifting team down in Florida. Okay, we're going to talk about golf. Girls first. The CHS girls golf team placed third out of nine teams yesterday in the Lowndes Viking Classic at the Kinderloo Forest Golf Club. Hannah Powell made all-tournament team, finished second place individually with a 76. <clears throat> Earlier in the week, the ladies golf team, which included Hannah Powell, Allie Davis, Haley Kimbrough, and Ava Grace Rowell, participated in the Lady Trojanal Invitational in Lee County. That was on March the 11th. Placed third. We're getting, we're finishing behind Lowndes and Tift in just about every one of these ladies' tournaments. So we're close to Tift. We're trying to cut some shots and get into second, and then we'll worry about chasing Lowndes down. Um, <clears throat> Hannah Powell, second place individually again in this tournament also, shot a 73. So Hannah Powell, freshman, is playing very, very well for our Lady Trojans golf team. The boys... I've got the results from Lee County. They finished fourth out of 12. Kane Carver shot a 70. He won the individual low medalist. Noah Mars shot a 79. Freshman Ethan, Ethan Taylor shot 83. Garrett Metters also shot 83. So our boys finished fourth out of 12 teams at Lee County. I did not get Lowndes results. So both golf teams are playing well right now. Okay, let's talk about tennis. Middle school first. The Coffee Middle School tennis boys and girls won the Big Five Conference Championship last week. Congratulations to both teams. That's Coach Tripp Stripling and his staff and the boys and girls from Coffee Middle School, conference champions. Girls varsity tennis. Big win last week over Statesboro. I think I mentioned last week, Tennis had a showdown with Statesboro, who won the region in both boys and girls last year, and we finished second in both. Well, this time Statesboro came to the coffee courts. They lost 4-1 to one, uh, versus the girls. Winners for the girls were number one singles, Laney Griffin, number two singles, Gracie Morgan, number three singles, Emmy Cole, and the number two doubles teams of Amelia Brown and Joella Carver. The boys also, I don't have individual winners for the boys, but they also beat Statesboro four to one. So what that means is regular season champions, number one seed going into the region tennis tournament, which will be at Ware County on March 28th. So we're hoping for two region championships from our boys and girls tennis teams. Coach Vic Sims, Coach Sophia Winters doing an outstanding job with that group. Okay, let's talk about soccer. Middle school first. The middle school soccer wins back-to-back -back Big Five Conference Championships. This was the boys' team. They defeated Colquitt County 2-1 to one at Coffee Middle School last week for the championship. Randy Velasquez and Anthony Ramirez scored goals for the Trojans. The win wrapped up an undefeated season, another Big Five Conference Championship, and 28 consecutive wins for the Trojans. Another really good season for middle school boys soccer. The varsity teams got a big week ahead of them. They're right in the thick of the playoff hunt to try to make the state playoffs. They travel to Ware County tonight for big matches, and then they host Bradwell for their last region meet Friday week on the 29th. 
Probably both teams need at least one win on the road, maybe two to qualify for state play. They've been playing very well, very competitive, very close games. They've just got to find a way to win these last two. So we're pulling for our boys and girls soccer teams moving forward. Okay. Now we're going to talk about baseball. If I can find baseball. Okay, the Trojans dropped two of three to Greenbrier to open region play last week. They lost big at home on Tuesday, but rebounded on the road with a 6-3 to three win in game two behind solid pitching by Ben Fussell and Gavin McElroy and home runs from Peyton Bryant and Zay Smith. So that set up a showdown in game three with Greenbrier, the defending region champions, and Coffee got an outstanding pitching performance from Michael Strickland, allowed one run in seven and two-third innings, but unfortunately runs were hard to come by, and the Trojans ended up dropping game three, two to one in nine innings. So puts us a little bit behind the eight ball as far as trying to win the region championship. We we're game back, and we lost the series, so we got some work to do, and we need some help. But – Really proud of the way these these kids responded. Tuesday was one of those games, and base, baseball is a funny game. When things don't go your way, a lot of times everything snowballs and steamrolls, and next thing you know, you've been solidly beat. The, then the big question comes, how are you going to rebound? Well, we lose at home to Greenbrier, a game that we felt like we really needed. So we go to Greenbrier, and we really bow up and compete, win game two, very easily could have won game three. Real proud of the effort. Real think, Really think that this baseball team has a good chance to play a long time this spring. So a great effort on Thursday. And now they'll get back into region play as they go to Statesboro today for a single game. And then Statesboro will come to coffee Thursday for a doubleheader. That's a schedule change. So because of some weather concerns and an umpire situation, we're going to go to Statesboro today instead of playing here. And Statesboro is going to come here on Thursday to play the doubleheader. So let's come out to Wilson Field and support our baseball Trojans. Track and field. Let's talk about first about the big country, Georgia FCA track meet, which was Wednesday at Coffee High School. This was a middle school meet so, uh, supported by Tommy Watkins and the local FCA group. The, the female big country FCA high point award winner was Kella Smith of Coffee Middle Lady Trojans. Keller won first place in the 800 meter and the 1600 meter run. Also had a first place finish from Telesia White in the 400 meter dash. The girls finished third overall as did the boys. All right, high school soccer. We hosted the Bone Pickers track meet. The Eagle Lake Bone Pickers support track and they have a meet that they sponsor, and that was Friday out at Coffee High School track. The Trojans and Lady Trojans both won the meet. First place winners, Joe McCrow, clear five feet and six inches in the high jump. J.D. Moore finished first in the long jump. Caroline Crawford first in the 1,600-meter run. Ayana Johnson first in the 100-meter dash. J.D. Moore also a first place finish in the 100-meter dash. So, J.D. had first place finishes in the long jump and the 100. Carrie Sharana White, new personal record and, and a win in the 100-meter hurdles. And then also the lady 4x200 relay team consisting of Cinnamon Pearson, Josaria Roper, Ella Edge, and Amari Williams also won first place. All right. I think that's it. No, we got to talk bass fishing. One thing I'll uh, – Almost left out, but can't leave out bass fishing. What a season this crew is having. We fished in our third sectional at West Point last week and qualified another boat for the state play, uh, state tournament in May. This time, anglers Charles Bird and Jake Grantham with boat captain Buddy Jordan finished second out of 263 boats. Best finish we've had in a sectional. Another boat qualifies for the state Tournament, which will be at, at Collins uh, Clark Hill later on in May. But we've got one more sectional to go at Lake Hartwell, so we're hoping to qualify another boat if we can. But Coach Kyle Bird off to a great start with his bass fishing team. Couldn't be prouder of this group.
All right, Kim, I guess I'll see you next Monday, hopefully with some more great things that our student athletes are doing.